There's nothing worse than having an enemy sneak up on you mid-game, only for you not to hear them. Or even worse, having a headset with a mic where your buddies simply cannot understand you. Let's face it, most modern PS4 games beg for players to have quality headsets to ensure that you and your team can communicate clearly and hear those soft enemy footsteps right behind you. However, shopping for a new PS4 headset can be a daunting task. There are a wide range of brands and price points to choose from. That's why we've done the hard work research and testing for you to bring you this short list of the five best PS4 headsets for this year. This list is based on our personal opinion and the products are listed based on hardware, performance, design features and price. Included are options for every type of buyer, so if you're looking for a budget headset for casual gaming needs or a competition ready headset for a great price, there's sure to be a product for you. If you want more information and the latest pricing on the products mentioned today, be sure to check the links in the description down below. Finally, be sure to leave a comment, like and subscribe to the 7 Top Rated channel for more in-depth tech reviews. Ok, so with that out of the way, let's get started with the video. At number 5 on our list is the Steel Series Arctis 7. This is our best all-round PS4 headset priced at around $150. This makes our list because of its solid connectivity options, great surround sound and the fact they are very comfortable. SteelSeries has been a force in the gaming space for years, offering just about any kind of peripheral you could need. The Arctic 7 is the next in a long line of gaming headsets from the company, bringing a Discord certified mic, long battery life and wireless functionality. In fact, this headset works like a charm on PlayStation 4 with slightly more limited functionality on Xbox One and Nintendo Switch. In the box you get a USB dongle for wirelessly connecting to your PlayStation, along with a USB charging cord and a 3.5mm cord for connecting to your phone. The SteelSeries Arctis 7 is a wireless headset that connects using a 2.4GHz wireless RF USB dongle rather than Bluetooth. While that means the headset are a little less versatile, you don't need to spend as much time pairing anything and it has no noticeable latency. According to SteelSeries, the Arctic 7 has a 40 foot range and we found that to be about right. Picking at the design, it has a sturdy aluminum frame and an adjustable ski goggle light suspension band. The headphones sit on slightly offset hinges with panels that have a matte texture. Unlike most gaming headsets, the Arctic 7 doesn't positively shout gamer with its aesthetic. There aren't any neon lights or LED striping. The only prominent light on the whole thing shines when the mic is muted. Much like the Arctic Pro, the Arctic 7 is really comfortable. After briefly adjusting the Velcro suspension strap, we easily settled in for a number of gaming sessions without a problem. The strap was plush and elastic, applying just the right amount of pressure to keep the headset snug. The headphone pads included with the headset are made of an airweave fabric, which seems like it sits between leather and velour in rigidity. Just like the Arctic Pro, these pads didn't get nearly as hot as leather. You'll find controls lying in the bottom of both headphones. On the left headphone there's a mic mute button, a volume dial, a 3.5mm micro USB and four pin ports. The right side houses the power button and a dial for switching between the game and chat audio channels the headset supports. The left headphone also houses a retractable microphone, which extends out about 4 inches on a flexible wire so you can chat and game to your friends easily. Moving on, the Arctis 7 features 7.1 digital surround sound which offers realistic 3D audio environments in games like Fortnite. We found the sounds of footsteps and gunfire were easy enough to place in game. The surround sound features didn't make much of a difference compared to stereo sound in non-shooter games like Assassin's Creed Odyssey, but it was still nice to have. In our testing, the SteelSeries Arctis 7 lasted 16 hours 32 minutes, but you might get a little more out of that. To summarise, we love the comfort of the Arctis 7, solid connectivity options and honestly, appreciated the low-key design. The only downsides are that it does overemphasise bass a little during gameplay and the mic isn't the best out there. You want to buy the Arctis 7 if you're looking for a solid all-round PS4 headset that's reasonably priced, fully featured and is wireless and for that reason we highly recommend you check it out. Before we move on, if you find this video helpful, be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe to the 7 Top Rated YouTube channel for more in-depth tech reviews. Ok, so at number 4 on our list is the HyperX Cloud Stinger. This is our best budget PS4 headset priced at around $50. This makes our list because of its affordable price tag, how comfortable they are and the strong audio performance for the price. 
You can get slightly better sounding headset by spending a bit more, but if you're on a strict budget, the Cloud Stinger is an excellent choice. The biggest clue that the HyperX Cloud Stinger is a budget headset, not something pricier, are the plastic materials used in its design. You won't find any aluminum or steel here, just moulded plastic except for the internal metal piece inside the headband. Despite this reliance on plastic, the Cloud Stinger does not feel cheap. As a pleasing weight to it and the plastic materials have a matte coating that lends an air of sophistication. All surfaces except the red HyperX logo on the side of each ear cup are coloured matte black. HyperX does not offer any other colour options for the Cloud Stinger. At 275 grams, the Stinger is notably heavier than competitors, but still significantly lighter than the clunky Astro A10. We like the weight, it feels sturdy enough to stand up to some abuse without feeling too heavy on your head. The Cloud Stinger features padded synthetic leather ear cups and headband padding. The headband padding is very luxurious for a budget headset and the memory foam inside the ear cups allows for a comfortable fit during long gaming sessions. The ear cups also rotate which helps create a comfortable fit against your head and also makes the headset less of a nuisance when you take them off and wear them around your neck. Moving on, the synthetic leather over ear pads and headband padding are soft and comfortable, but not quite as thick as the ear pads on the Razer Kraken Pro V2. Both the boom microphone and headset cable are permanently attached to the left ear cup, whilst the mic rests on a flexible rubber boom arm. This flips down 90 degrees in only one direction, so you can't swap sides by turning the headset around. The headset cable is 4 feet long and ends in a single 4 pole 3.4mm plug that will work with all modern game consoles. HyperX includes a 5 foot extension cable that splits into two 3.5mm plugs for use with computers and notebooks with separate headphone and microphone inputs. A slider on the underside of the right ear cup controls the volume mechanically, letting you adjust it separately from your connected device. As you may expect at this price point, there are no inline remote or microphone mute buttons, but the mic does automatically mute when you flip it up, which is a nice feature. For gaming, this audio signature works very well. We tested it on Call of Duty on the PlayStation 4 and the strong just above sub bass lows give the different guns plenty of punch. Gunshots and explosions won't rattle your skull with their vibrations, but you'll definitely stay aware of them. Even during intense combat, you'll find voice cues and barked orders come through clearly, mainly thanks to the strong high mid presence. As a mostly single player game with no voice chat, Neo on the PlayStation 4 doesn't need a headset. That said, the atmospheric music and various sound effects of soldiers and steel clashing against each other came through clearly. At maximum volume, it's a powerful sound that adds to the immersion of your missions, even without reproducing very low or very high frequencies. The Cloud Stinger's microphone sounds very good for a budget headset, and the long, stiff boom arm keeps the mic far enough away that it doesn't pick up any popping, or makes certain syllables sound overly sibilant. Your voice comes through clearly, and while it doesn't offer the sensitive, powerful performance of dedicated microphones, the headset can work well for both voice chat, in games, and calling into podcasts. To summarise, we loved its super low price, strong audio performance, and the fact it has a good mic. We didn't like that it's weak at extremely high and low frequencies, although for the price, it's not a reason to dismiss this headset. The Stinger is for anyone who wants to up their PS4 gameplay with a solid headset, that doesn't break the bank. If that sounds like you, these are the perfect choice. And number three is the Turtle Beach Elite Pro 2. This is our best PS4 headphone for shooters at around $129. This makes our list because it has an attractive design, fits comfortably and sounds great. Judged solely on the headset design, the Elite Pro 2 is a thing of beauty. You get an elastic steel hybrid headband design, along with plush ear cups, removable speaker plates, and plenty of notches to find your ideal fit. The headset features a detachable boom mic, a detachable 3.5mm audio cable, and a mic mute button halfway down that cable. While the headset itself is good, the Elite Pro 2's unique selling point is a circular amp that lets you control the game's volume without having to feel around for a tiny dial or reach for your remote control. To utilise the amp, you have to plug the headset into it, then connect the amp to your PS4 with a long USB cord. The amp itself is big and solidly built, so it's probably not going to go anywhere, but I couldn't help but think that the long cord was a step backwards given that we're in the age of wireless. The amp itself is surprisingly plain, with a silver dial around the edges that controls volume, a headset in jack on the front, a headset out jack, a micro USB connection on the back, plus a Bluetooth connectivity button on the side. Back to the headset, the Elite Pro 2 makes comfort its top priority. 
The over-the-ear cups are large and playable, and we really like the Pro Specs adjustment feature. This means that even those who wear spectacles amongst us can wear them for hours at a time without losing any comfort. It's worth noting you can use the Elite Pro 2 in either stereo or Windows Sonic surround sound modes and both sound wonderful. To summarise, we like the soundstage, how comfortable these headsets are and its dedication to working seamlessly with consoles. The only negatives are that it relies on an amp that isn't wireless and overall they were slightly quieter than other options on this list. This is our pick for you if you swear by wired setups and focus more on shooters where this headset really stands out. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more in-depth tech reviews from the 7 Top Rated YouTube channel. Ok, so at number 2 on our shortlist is the Razer Nari Ultimate. This is our best wireless headphone for PS4, priced at around $180. This makes our list because of its roomy ear cups, balanced sound quality and haptic feedback feature. The Razer Nari Ultimate's elegant design encompasses a gunmetal finish frame floating above a flexible, adjustable band. The swivel ear cups are made up of memory foam, cooling gel infused cushions and plush leatherette rims finished with a heat transfer fabric so you can sweat away without worry. The headset has a mute button, retractable boom arm mic with a little flexibility that has a mic mute indicator light at the end, but the absence of a mic monitoring feature is a little bit of a letdown. Onto connectivity, there's a wireless USB dongle that pops right out of the ear cup with a firm push and you can slot that into your PS4 to get going. There's also a 3.5mm port and a wired USB connection that allows for charging even when the headset is in use. From a sound perspective, the Nari Ultimate offers great performance for gaming. Razer has made it clear that the headset has been designed with immersion in mind, so it may not be ideal to give you an edge in competitive gaming. This is our top pick for any PS4 gamer who wants a truly immersive experience without being tied down by annoying wires. Razer delivers exactly that and we highly recommend you check these out. At number one on our list is the Logitech G Pro. This is our best headphone for tournament play. This makes our list because it has a punchy, clean bass, a sleek design and is comfortable even for the longest gaming sessions. Looking at the aesthetic, the Logitech G Pro headset has a slick, industrial design pairing hard angles with smooth curves and visible steel. It has padded faux leather ear pads that feel soft and comfortable, which come in all black, with a subtle blend of silver notes in the G logo, along with the stainless steel headband extenders. Even the braided cable gives off a bit of a silvery shine pattern thanks to the way it reflects light. The headband is made of a semi-rough nylon that is flexible and feels fairly durable so it can stretch to fit larger heads, especially with the long sliders. And these stainless steel sliders are notched to make remembering your perfect fit easy. Plus, they hold their size in really well. All in all, it feels like a well-built headset that can handle the occasional mishap or even rage quit. The ear cups are a soft, matte black plastic that feels nice, though they do pick up grease marks and fingerprints fairly easily. They're held on with C-shaped arms that rotate about 100 degrees, letting them lie flat on your chest or so you can pack them into a bag easily. Alternatively, you can open forward slightly to hear someone talking to you without completely removing the headset. The ear cups can swivel up and down as well, so they can easily conform to the wearer's head. Onto the sound performance, the G Pro offers admirable sound quality, particularly in how punchy it can be. The headset manages to make sound more comfortable and easier to pick out than other headsets whilst the ear cups offer a decent amount of noise isolation but don't leave your ears feeling like they're boxed in a small room. This makes for a sound stage that feels more open which helps us to distinguish between different sounds in busy game environments which can often be a big advantage. The Logitech G Pro is undeniably a quality headset. Logitech took pro gamer feedback in the design of these and it would seem some pro gamers are tired of shiny headsets and just want a serious pair of headphones that commit every dollar to build quality and sound quality. The Logitech G Pro pretty much nails this so if you're serious about your gaming these are our top pick for you. Thanks for watching, if you liked this video and it helped you out in any way, please hit like and subscribe for more tech reviews from the channel. Remember, all the links to the products featured today can be found in the description down below. Hope to see you guys in the next video. See you soon.